All right, so today we are going to be talking about something called simple interest. Simple interest is yet another important in piece of information to know for your actual real life um, application because it's very important for you to know what simple interest is um, as you move into the real world and become adults. So, finding simple interest. First of all, we have some vocabulary words that we need to know before we even start talking about simple interest. The first being interest itself. What on earth is interest? Well, it's money paid for the use of your money. So if you've ever heard your parents talk about uh, you earning interest from putting your money in a bank, that's what they're talking about. You can earn money very slowly, I will admit, um, by keeping your money in that in a bank. All right? An interest rate, You'll, you've probably also heard your parents say this, an interest rate is a percentage rate of interest, meaning that oftentimes when you are buying a, um, a house or a car or something that costs a lot of money and you need to go into the bank and you take a loan out, the bank will charge you an interest rate, meaning that you will have a percentage of the money that you will have to um, pay back in addition to the original amount. So for example, you can have a 5% interest rate or a 3.5% interest rate. Those are really good interest rates. If you have one that's like 12%, probably not as good, all right? Principal. Principal is the original amount deposited or borrowed. So let's say in the instance of buying a car, let's say that you bought a $20,000 car and you only put $5,000. The original amount deposited or borrowed would be that $15,000 because it's the um, amount borrowed, okay? Simple interest. Simple interest is the interest calculated only on the principal amount, okay? Only on the simple amount on the principal amount. So we have a very nifty um, formula that we use in order to figure out simple interest. That is I equals PRT, or I like to call it PERT, okay? So I stands for interest, P is the principal amount, rate is the percentage that we have, and T is time in years. Okay, so if they say six months, then in years you would put 0.5 because, or one half, because that's exactly what that is. All right, so we want to find the simple interest if you invested $8,000 at a rate of 6% for one year. So using our I equals, that looked more like an I, P, R, T, well, I invested $8,000, which is my principal amount. Times my rate, and in this case, we would write it as a decimal, 0 0.06 for 6%. And then my time is just one year. So then I can take that and I can actually multiply those together in order to find what my interest is. And 8,000 times 0 0.06 is 480. So my simple interest is 480. All right, let's do another example. So I have Caitlin invested $5,000 at a rate of 12.5% for five years. This one's a little bit more difficult. So going along with this same idea, so we have the interest rate, or the simple interest, excuse me, equals, well, I, Caitlin invested $5,000. At a rate of 12.5%, well, 12.5 is the same as 0 0.125, and that is for five years. 
All right, so then we multiply all that together. So 5,000 times 0.125 times five years. And that interest rate is 3,125. So the simple interest would be $3,125. Okay? All right, so um, that's all I have for you today. Um, but before you think that you're totally off the hook, I would like you to actually answer these three questions for me in your WISP. All right, there's just some quick um, review. So what is the simple interest formula? It's pretty self-explanatory. A student deposits $150 into a bank that pays 6% simple interest. Find the interest earned in four years. This last one is you deposit $300 in an account that earns 8% simple interest. Find the final balance in the account after three years. All right. So use that formula that I'm not going to tell you because it's on your review and to do these review questions. Otherwise, please come in with any questions and include those in your WISC. Otherwise, we're good to go. Have a good evening, guys.